Welcome to this introduction to the TICRA Tools Antenna Design and Analysis Framework. In this video, we will introduce the TICRA Tools Graphical User Interface, how to interact with objects and commands in software, and how to carry out an analysis and inspect the results. When the TICRA Tools software is started, the user is met by a startup dialog. Here the user can select if a blank project should be created, if a dedicated wizard should be used to quickly create an antenna design to start from, or if a previously created project should be opened. From this menu, it is also possible to access a number of tutorial example projects that cover a range of different antenna designs and applications. The TICRA Tools framework contains six different products. The available products can be inspected in the product activation menu. For single seat licenses, this menu will show the license available on the dongles inserted in the computer. And for floating licenses, it is possible to activate and deactivate available licenses. Newly acquired products must be activated in the activation menu before the products are used in TICRA Tools. An existing TICRA Tools project is used for this demonstration. It contains a reflect array illuminated by a corrugated feed horn. At the left side of the window, eight tabs are located. We will go through them one by one and inspect the content under each tab. The menu bar at the top of the window can be used to access standard file and editing commands, view settings, the dedicated design wizards that were also available from the start menu, application options, or to create new objects in the project. Under the help menu, the product activation menu that we just saw can be accessed, as well as the TICRA Tools users manual. The TICRA Tools users manual contains information about the graphical user interface, the analysis methods and the optimization algorithms, as well as detailed descriptions of the tutorial example cases. In the reference section of the user's manual, all objects and commands included in the software are described in detail. Antennas and scatterer objects in a Tico Tools project are listed under the Object Explorer to the left. Double-clicking an object opens a corresponding object editor where the attributes of the selected object can be reviewed and modified. Pressing help or F1 in the object editor brings up the reference section of the object in the manual. Here, a detailed description of the object can be found. To the right of the object explorer is the 3D view. Here, objects such as geometrical objects and field storage objects can be viewed. Clicking the button at the top left of the window opens a 3D view settings menu, where different objects can be shown or hidden, and view properties of the different objects can be modified. For example, clicking the checkbox next to the quasi-periodic surfaces will hide the reflect array in this project. Double-clicking on an object in the 3D view will open the object editor menu of that specific object, highlighting the object in the 3D view. Likewise, selecting an object in the object explorer will highlight the object in the 3D view. It should be noted that in TICRA tools, showing or hiding objects in the 3D view menu does not control if an object is being used in an analysis or not. This is defined by the project commands specified under the commands tab. Objects related to feed systems and waveguide networks available in the CHAMP 3D product are accessed in the feeds and waveguides tab. This tab has an object explorer to the left. There is no common 3D view in this tab. Instead, each object has its own view, 2D or 3D, embedded in its object editor. In this project, a corrugated horn has been designed using the CHAMP 3D horn wizard. A rendering of the object can be seen in the 3D view in the object editor, and view settings can be set similar to what we saw in the antennas and scatterers tab. The attributes of the selected object can be edited to the right, and at the bottom of the editor, additional information about the object is listed. The layout of the periodic unit cells tab is similar to that of the feeds and waveguides tab. Objects related to periodic unit cells available in the cubes product are listed in the object explorer under this tab, and each individual object has its own view embedded in the object editor. In this project, a triple dipole reflect array element has been designed. Optimizations can be set up under the optimization tab. The top of the window contains tabs with optimization managers. To the top left are the available variable in the project and in the center are the variables used in the optimization. To the bottom left are the available optimization goals in the project. 
and in the center are the goals used in the optimization. The optimization algorithm and settings are specified at the top right and the functions used in the optimization at the bottom right. The same interface layout is used under the uncertainty quantification tab where uncertainty quantification analysis are defined. Under the commands tab, the user can specify the analysis operations that are to be carried out by the software in the current job. Functions are defined to the left and commands are listed to the right. Commands are added with the add button and their order of execution can be rearranged with the up down buttons. Commands can be disabled or re-enabled by pressing Ctrl E on the keyboard or by right clicking and selecting enable disable. Double clicking on a given command opens a command editor where the attributes of the given command can be modified. When you select a function in the list of functions, the commands included in that function are shown in the commands list to the right. When all objects have been created and all commands have been defined, an analysis can be started by clicking the blue arrow button in the top menu or at the bottom left of the window. A job setup menu opens where the user can write a descriptive text associated with the job and specify settings for how the job is run if necessary. After a job has been started, its progress is continuously being printed in the log output window under the jobs tab. Here, the log output from all previous jobs can also be viewed by simply selecting a job from the job queue menu. The job comments can be edited in the window at the bottom left. When the job is completed, it will appear in the results explorer under the results tab. The tree structure in the results explorer can be expanded either manually or by pressing the expand all button at the top. Here it can be seen that the results of the analysis that was just carried out are present together with the job status output of the specific job. By double clicking a results entry, a plot window opens of the specific output data in this case, the far field pattern of the reflector ray antenna. It is also possible to right click on the entries in the results explorer to bring up a context menu with more options for plotting and processing the results. This concludes the presentation. We hope that this instructional video will be of use to you who are just getting started with the Tools antenna design and analysis framework.